Chaos at Margin Phi shakes up Solana DeFi's borrow and lend landscape. Solan and Camino were the biggest winners in the Solana DeFi landscape. The biggest winner from Margin Phi's leadership shakeup seems to be Solan, with $17 million in deposits in the last 24 hours and token rising 37%. Camino, another competitor, also saw $81 million in new deposits. Margin Phi is still Solana's second largest borrow and lend service and fifth largest DeFi protocol by TVL despite seeing a 31% deposit exodus in a single day. Wednesday's leadership chaos at Margin Phi sparked an exodus of $200 million in crypto capital from the borrow and lend service. Rather than staying on the sidelines, those coins are now flowing into competing platforms on the Solana blockchain. The biggest winner appears to be Solind. In the past 24 hours, it has seen deposits worth $17 million, its largest single-day deposit jump since July 2022. Solin's deposits increased nearly 12% in a single day, and its token rallied 37% over the same period. These spikes come after Solin's leader, the pseudonymous Xerox Rooter, offered a token airdrop to lenders who moved their money from Margin Fitu's platform, one of the oldest, borrow and lend outposts in Solana DeFi. By share numbers, Camino saw the largest jump of $81 million in new deposits, or 8.5% in a single day, per DeFi Llama. It doesn't have a token yet but is expected to airdrop one to its users later this month. Before the chaos began, Camino had already jumped margin fi to become Solana's largest borrow and lend platform. Drift saw a modest increase of $3.38 million in deposits. It runs a combined platform that offers borrow and lend, yield generating strategies and perpetual futures exchange services. Margin Fi remains Solana's second largest borrow and lend service and fifth largest DeFi protocol by TVL despite a 31% deposit exodus in a single day. The fiery resignation of its longtime CEO Edgar Pavlovsky leaves its immediate leadership structure and future uncertain, though its on-chain programs continue to run as designed. Margin Fi's longtime leader, Edgar Pavlovsky, resigned Wednesday following an internal dispute at the protocol's builder, MRGN. After his departure, the remaining team at MRGN Group appeared to have addressed an issue with the protocol's price data infrastructure that had caused issues for withdrawals for over a month. Thank you